Metabo HPT just released their new larger version of a corded air compressor called the Tank. This dude is eight gallons, five SCFM. It'll run three framing nailers, four siding or roofing nailers, and five finish nailers. Pretty sweet. This dude is 1.5 horsepower, 225 max PSI. 93 pounds, it's a trolley style, so it's pretty easy to move around. It's fairly heavy if you're gonna pick it up. And it comes in with an MSRP of $459. Let's go through this guy top to bottom. Please note, if you buy this air compressor or any other air compressor that is oil-free, follow the break-in procedure. You're gonna just open this tank at the bottom, this guy upright, and we're gonna hit the switch, turn it on, let it go for 10 minutes, break everything in in the internals. Now that it's broken in, let's get its initial fill time. We're gonna time that with our phone. We also have the kilowatt set up to check out how many amps this is gonna draw, being that we are classifying this as a 1.5 horsepower motor per Metabo HPT. Let's go. Initial fill time is going to be zero to 225 PSI, three minutes, 36 seconds. But we were able to get to 90 PSI within about the first minute. So you could actually turn this on one minute, plug in and be rocking and rolling. As far as amps went, we were averaging around 14.5 to 14.7. So this thing's taking up every bit of your 15 amp output if you're using it in construction. You're not going to be plugging anything else into it while you're going at it with this. It rocked and rolled through everything. With this compressor you have five SCFM to work with, so you're going to want to make sure the combination of all the tools that you have connected to it are not going to exceed that or pull more than that from this unit. We're going to test its recovery time now, so we're at 220 PSI. We'll use this hose to drop down and see how long it takes for it to recover without use. <laughs> Forty-seven seconds to go from 175 back to 225. If you're going to use this at 90 psi, which most nailers are going to be, you're never even going to get to the point where you're going to touch dropping and pressure while using it, which is absolutely perfect in one of the nicer items of having a 225 psi tank. We're going to use this meter on my phone to check out the decibel rating of this Metabo HPT tank and just see what it's going to rate. You'll see where this is going with me talking and we are also inside. So that's going to have this bouncing around a little bit. Let's turn it on and see where we go. <laughs> So we bounced around from 75 to 77 decibels, which is not bad. Uh, it's not quite to the point where you need hearing protection, but for as large of a machine as this is, it seems quite quiet. This air compressor is completely surrounded with a cage, and we do have a nice cord wrap here. There you have to kind of tuck that in. There's nothing that's going to clip into this cord. I wish there was. Not a huge deal. Frame around this is excellent to get at everything at the bottom. You just lift it up. We can then access the drains, anything else we want to get to, the handle that moves up and down. It's pretty nice in the way that it's all put together. The one thing that they have on this, it says no step on the top. There is no bar going across. Being that this is gonna be on the job site, how many of you guys think that people are gonna use this to stand on? And I totally get it, not a step. It does work. It'd be nicer if there was a bar across here for a little bit of strength, but I mean, I can easily stand on this without issue. These are pneumatic tires. When you get this, check if these are full. Mine were completely empty in the box, put 25 PSI in them, and they moved around much better. One complaint that I have is they don't look the prettiest while they're moving. You can see it kind of wobbles back and forth. With that said, it works completely fine, rolls excellent, just doesn't look that great. The gauges on here are easy to read. You have your total tank pressure, which we're now just under 225. And then you have your regulated pressure. Simple regulator here, pull out to unlock it. You can turn it up, you can turn it down. Wherever you'd like to be, 
push in and lock. There's not much movement there, but it definitely will snap itself in and not allow it to move from vibration or from anyone else walking by. You know, so I have two outputs here. If you look on Metabo HPT's website, you'll see that they use splitters in these to continue to get as many tools as you want to have connected. This would also work great with their external tank that they have where you could connect this up and then run as a 16 or 18 gallon tank to just give you a little more reserve. This is a 100% oil-free unit, so the only maintenance you have to this is to empty the tank and drain the humidity after you're done with each use. I think it's important that we take a look here on the side at some of its specs. First, we're seeing 120 volts, 60 hertz, obviously 13.5 amps. We went right over that to 14.7. It's rated to 1.5 horsepower and it is three wire, obviously. I don't think too many people are gonna to try to run this on two wire. You have 6.3 SCFM at 40 PSI and 5.0 at 90. Now the tank capacity is going to be eight gallons. Max is going to be 225 PSI. And then the duty cycle here is rated at S350. So that's gonna mean this guy can run for five minutes and then it needs to turn off for five minutes and rest. And then it can turn back on for five minutes. So this is meant to be something that's on and off, on and off, on and off. And it's not meant to be run consistently. That is one thing that you want to make sure of when you plug a bunch of different tools into it that you're not just running this at an overload rate. This Metabo HPT tank is actually a beast and it really performs well. One thing to be careful if you're on the job site, make sure that you're running a large enough extension cord to this. The cord that is on it, quite large, but is only gonna be about six foot. That's about it. So you're gonna run an extension cord to this 99% of the time. Just make sure that it is a heavy duty extension cord that's going to be able to deliver the power that this needs. So as we said, it's taking all of that 15 amp circuit that's there. Otherwise, performance on this is absolutely awesome. You can plug it in within one minute, be up and running at 90 PSI. You got some great ratings for this to push out anything else that you want to do on the job site. And if you're going to use this in the garage, you'd have zero issue running any impact wrench off this. That's going to be half inch or lower. So I think that's great for a home use guy, way overkill, lots of money. But at the same point in time, it's going to last you a long time. It's easy to use, easy to move around. And in some cases, more importantly, easy to store where you can throw this guy up in a corner and it's going to be out of the way that's going to work in your con contractor trailer also you can just get this guy out of the way carrying it around is easy with the extendable handle there's a lot to like about this unit and very little to dislike i know a lot of people are saying pneumatic tools are going away on the job site for nailers and yes there's battery options but i'll tell you i haven't been to too many job sites where i've seen roofing nailers or framing nailers run off of battery unless it's really small jobs most people are still running pneumatics so this stuff is still very relevant and needed so it's great to see metabo hpt continue to come out with things and come out with them at a fair price and in some cases with their nailers they've actually lowered the price of them anywhere from 20 to 70 dollars so when we're seeing prices on almost everything around us skyrocket some of those nailers are coming down significantly and worth checking out I'm always interested in your comments. Please leave them below. While you're doing so, give us a like in this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.